Um, I do want to say, well, because I don't have any notes, so this is just from the heart. Um, I thank God because it is only by the grace of God that I am here. And now there are a lot of times I think I have it going on. But I know that it is God's strength that has brought me here, and that is why I am so, so happy to be here. And he has blessed me to be able to celebrate this wonderful occasion. But I do want to thank a number of people. I told Chief Judge Brown I would be here about 45 minutes, settle down, um, and just sort of get comfortable. I'm just kidding. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so, to the district judges, thank you because you embraced me from day one when I started in 1997 um, as a part-time magistrate judges and to the magistrate judges who are just such a wonderful group of people, let alone judges. So when they talk about brilliant legal minds, that is the absolute truth, but they're actually fun people too, um, which in a lot of instances is more important, but... <laughs> It makes good lunch, you know, that sort of thing. But, um, so I'm so grateful to say that I've been a part of the magistrate judges, and I am proud to say that I was part of that group, and I will always um, wear that banner very proudly. I do want to say to my father, and to my second mother, because my mother actually passed almost 15 years ago, but I want to say to my father and second mother, Dolores, thank you for your love and your support. It has been constant. And I'm not going to look at my father. Don't start crying. No tears. <laughs> Um, but I just want to say thank you, Dad. I love you so much. And um, throughout this process, which is a very long process, um, my father pretty much had two questions. First question was, when can I tell people? <laughs> the second question was, who can I tell? <laughs> so I just want to say to you today, Dad, October 12th, you can tell anybody you want. <laughs> 